Maybe moving is in the stars for you this year. And whether it's across town or thousands of miles away, there have never been as many choices on how to get your stuff from point A to point B. Jimmy Rhodes is sorting through the confusion with some moving hacks. Hey, Jimmy, what's the deal? Each year, about 45 million Americans move. This summer is going to be one of the busiest summers in a decade. Which means moving companies are cashing in. But Move Buddha's Ryan Kerrigan has the hacks. First, remember that movers are a luxury item. Having someone carry everything for you, load it in the truck, that's a luxury. So if you can't afford that, do not look for some budget or bargain mover. Because that bargain can go bad if the wrong people show up. On the day of the move, when you really don't have any other options, the quote will go up. The quality of the company that's willing to do that type of bait and switch is typically way lower. So you have people in your home handling your things that you probably wouldn't want. If you can't afford moving, but don't want to do all that lifting, go semi-DIY. Rent a truck and hire labor separately. The big rental companies make it easy. They actually have in their checkouts online where you can hire labor. Emphasis on labor, not experience. They're not necessarily a moving crew, so they do require a little bit more hands-on coordination there. Congratulations, you're the crew captain. Moving on from trucks, think about containers. They do tend to be more expensive than a rental truck. But they can make sense if you don't have access to your new place right away. You only end up doing one move, whereas if you were doing it in and out of a storage unit, you'd actually be paying for two moves. From the old place to the storage unit, then from the storage unit into the new place. But you only move once when the storage unit is dropped in your new driveway. Finally, there's no getting away from the complexity of moving. And this is one area where the internet's a liar. There's fake reviews, plus a lot of first page hits are actually lead generation companies. They basically just try to collect your information as quickly as possible and sell it to as many movers as possible. So they're about quantity over quality. When you go through a website that promises to connect you with five, 10 movers, and you only are answering three or four questions, the only movers buying that information are the worst kind of movers. As always, the cheapest move is renting a truck and paying friends with pizza. Live with your it's what's the deal.